welcome to the January 4th, 2017 appointment subcommittee meeting. The time is 5.32 and we have uh, Joe McCoy and Tamara Smith present. On our agenda tonight, uh, first thing, I got the minutes from you, Joe. Okay. I have no changes to make, okay. so I'd like to put a motion forward to approve the minutes from our last two subcommittee meetings. Okay, and I'll second that. Okay, having a motion on the floor, all in favor? Aye. Aye. No nays and no abstentions. And the next thing on our agenda, we have two mayoral appointments, but Monica Kane is the first mayoral appointment for the personnel director. So, Mayor, I'll go ahead and give you a chance to uh, speak to this appointment. Oh, thank you, Tamara. So, as you can see, you have, um, do you need a copy of her information, Tamara? Sure, I'd I have it on to, my phone I'd, and my computer. It's hard to see. I'd be, happy to, there, I'd be happy to give you one. Thank it's you. just two-sided, though, so. So, um, as you can see, and I know you've already reviewed it, mm -hmm. uh, Monica has uh, extensive experience in HR, and what's I think really interesting is all aspects of mm -hmm. human uh, resources. You yeah, know, so whether it, it <laughs> yeah, you know, whether the fiduciary part, the benefits parts, mm -hmm. um, all aspects of it. So I think that's extremely helpful, mm -hmm. and um, and I have to say from our end. And, um, it's been a pleasure having her here these few weeks <laughs> um, and I didn't know if I had relayed the information but for the interviews um, mm -hmm. what I decided to do um, uh, for this appointment is you know I was in on the interview you know of course but um, also, I had the departments that I feel directly work with HR. I, mm -hmm. I know all departments work with sure. HR, but really work with them on the majority of the day-to-day. -day. Mm -hmm. So I had our DPW director, mm -hmm. our fire chief, mm -hmm. our police chief, our finance director, and our auditor. And mm -hmm. with the auditor and the finance director, like the benefits part and you know all of the payroll, so those those departments work really closely together. Sure. And also, Nikki, you were in there. Did I forget anybody? No. That was and uh, also, Nikki was in there. And I have to say, you know, we had some really qualified, uh, very well qualified candidates, and it was unanimous after the interview with mm -hmm. Monica. Every single person mm -hmm. was on board that uh, they just thought that we were very lucky to have somebody with these expertise and mm -hmm. and um, made the offer that I think the next day, right Monica? Yes. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So um, we're looking at it that you know, we're extremely pleased to have her here mm -hmm. and we hope that you will look favorably upon it also. Okay. And she's here to answer any questions that you might have. Absolutely. Okay. Joe, do you have any questions for Monica? I guess combination mayor and Monica, how would you say Municipal HR would differ from her uh, private sector HR. Are they identical, or they how they would they differ? Well, I, I think that's a really good question because you know, like when we're we're all sometimes we are so like um, you know funneled with municipal, 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 but with HR there are so many uh, labor laws and uh, F FMLA, we were just talking today yeah. about FMLA, mm -hmm. and so many of them are just state regulated laws, and with municipal, really the only specifics would be things like civil service, uh, that type of thing, which, um, you know, which our departments are, are, are pretty well up on anyway, but mm -hmm. again, when she had such a broad background of all aspects, mm -hmm. that to, that to us what was was really a huge plus. Mm -hmm. So we didn't feel like there was um, anything lacking at all. And mm -hmm. and for the record, we did have um, candidates with municipal experience, and mm -hmm. we just thought she just brought that plus so much more, mm -hmm. you know, to the table. Yeah, and it's you know honestly, it's nice to have the perspective of the pri of the private world yeah. instead of I know, you know, right? it, it is. We're just so used to public all mm -hmm. the time that it's really refreshing mm -hmm. to have you know to have the experience on the outside and and the the employees that we have had here that have had experience with the private sector, it has. I think it's been um, a, an advantage. Mm -hmm. It's been an advantage to me and to and to Nikki. Both of us uh, came from the outside, you know. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. good question, Joe. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
I, I don't have any particular questions for you other than to, to welcome you. Thank you. To, you know, I, I really respect Major, Mayor Kadger and oh, this has you. been well vetted out and I'm really happy that you accepted the position and you're here. Great, thank you. I'm excited yes. too. Mm -hmm. and, and I agree, it's a, a trying to go uh, to, from Chicago to oh. uh, uh, yes. Yeah. Salacious. Yeah, it was. You know, um, I really enjoyed the company and I was dedicated to the people and there was handover from one CEO to another and mm -hmm. moving our headquarters to Chicago and asking me to jump in and do something that was different mm -hmm. with that chief operations officer piece. Operations so fits really close with human resources because it's all about the people. Mm -hmm. So um, I took on that but it just became too much, right? You have a family at home sure. and you have an apartment for yourself in Chicago. Mm. It doesn't really work out when you have yeah. Sounds good girls. on paper, but not so good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. you know, people think travel is yeah. so exciting and it's mm -hmm. really exciting when you're going on vacation. It's really not exciting when you're, you know, driving yourself to yeah. cold, windy, yeah. <laughs> in the middle of the winter and getting stranded there on a Friday night and not being able to get home oh, to your yeah. family. Right. But, um, I look at this as kind of the same thing. It was interesting to me because there there are, to your point, some some differences. Mm -hmm. um, but you know, I was very open about the fact that there are some differences, and everyone here, as Mayor said, is very well versed in like civil service. So you know, Chief has been really great about talking to me about those things, and communication is just, I think, the key mm -hmm. aspect of it. But there are a lot of things from private mm -hmm. that are oh, yeah. different than municipal for sure yeah. but um there's a lot of the same too mm -hmm. as mayor was mm -hmm. talking about it. just your basic your yeah. leaves of absence and your i-9 mm -hmm. forms and mm -hmm. things of that nature and our work was kind of we shared a lot of the same. We had some funny little story <laughs> scenarios during the interviews. It's like that pretty much is the same no matter where you go. It can be, it yeah. can be the same. It can be contagious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I think, again, from the private sector, sometimes they have a little bit more of a proactive approach to it. Yeah. And she mm -hmm. had some really good ideas. So, mm -hmm. you know, it, it's just, I think, just being on top of things. And the civil service piece, I have to say, too, that our chief has always done that part himself. Yeah. So it's not like it's not that yeah. we've had people doing the civil service in the past because we have not. It's him that requests the lists and you know. And he's still doing it. Yep. Yeah. I mean, so. while system in the interview process, we're going to do interviews next week. But he's he's doing that civil service. But you haven't seen too many differences so far, right? No, I mean, um, private, obviously, you have more freedom <laughs> to, make, to make decisions. More privacy. Yeah. <laughs> more privacy, for sure. Um, you know, you're able to, from a human resources perspective, you're, you're close to your finance mm -hmm. person, and in conjunction with your CFO, you bring something to the CEO, and the stamp of approval goes on, and there it goes. Um, that's a difference. Mm -hmm. Things like not having unions, mm -hmm. um, at least you know from my background. But on the flip side, I did a lot of negotiations with insurance companies. So negotiation, I think, is an art form, mm -hmm. and it can transcend from private to public. Um, but th those those are the differences, the things you would expect. Mm -hmm. um, Again, being very public mm -hmm. is different. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, I can tell people um, why they weren't selected in the in the private side. If they weren't selected to be hired, I can basically say to them, "I'm sorry, mm -hmm. I don't have to give you that information. It was great. Wish you all the best of luck." On the mm -hmm. flip side, here, gotta give them some feedback. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know, I have to let them know. But a lot of that just comes down to um, again paying attention to what the state and the federal laws are and belonging to the right organizations mm -hmm. because it's a constant practice of um, understanding your craft. If you will, you have to stay on top of everything. Everything's very fluid. Mm -hmm. So that that's human resources. I mean, that is just the essence of it. You are committed forever to education because it's always moving. Yeah. Like, yeah. You think you have it ironed out, and then four years yeah. later, eight years later, whatever, yeah. it will change again. And yeah. I'm sure we'll see we'll see changes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. We also 
thought, and I think it's going to be obvious to both of you, you know, each time that you meet um, or come in to, you know, uh, deal with Monica in any way, she has like a, a, a wonderful resume and her, you know, like her expertise are, 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 you know, very obvious. She also has a wonderful personable way about her. <laughs> and on, honestly, that... I know that sounds funny, but no. that was a priority for me. Yeah, yeah that was a huge. HR. It was a yeah. huge priority for me. You, you know, you can have people on paper that you know have every single part of the position, and you know, but we feel like with this, like there's two huge components to this position, and we mm -hmm. feel she's got them both, and it matters. Like you know, people think it doesn't matter. You know, just get somebody in here, and as long as they know that it does, being mm -hmm. personable in that type of position mm -hmm. where people feel com you know comfortable to approach you, yeah. you know, they also feel confident that you that you know what you're doing, but they feel comfortable approaching you, mm -hmm. and that was um, that was a huge priority for me. Mm -hmm. So um, we felt that she you know she met every goal without a problem. Mm -hmm. Well, great. Now, do you have any further discussion? No. Nope. <laughs> I think I'll play number 10. <laughs> well, being no further discussion, I'll make a motion to move um, the recommendation of Monica Kane for the HR director to the full council to me. I'll second that. Okay. Uh, Thank you. All in favor? Aye. Aye. No nays, no abstentions. So the next step, Monica, is we'll have the full city council at 6 o'clock. Um, usually, I, we usually don't get a chance to do appointments before the 6.15 public hearings. So around 6.30, we'll just bring it up to the full council and we'll have a vote, vote there. That's right. Okay. Oh, it was really nice meeting you. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> and whatever, if you want us to, you know, shed some light at the meeting for the full council, that's perfectly fine. Whatever you want, okay. we're, we're willing. Okay. Okay. Thank, Thank you so very you. much. Great. Right. Thanks Thank again. You. Congratulations. Thanks. The and the, the second mayoral appointment to consider tonight is for Monica Grazi Julia for the Council of Aging. Uh -huh. And I have not, um, I, I like that she has her nutrition masters just because I know that's such an important aspect uh -huh. of the senior center is teaching, teaching elderly about nutritional needs particularly in conjunction with chronic illnesses yeah so so I don't know if you have any further discussion regarding Monica Mulia no again she sounds like she, again she is she brings certain skills as you said with the nutrition and then the with like medical background to the to the board so mm -hmm. I think it's great okay so I'll make a motion to move Monica Mulia's name to the full council for approval tonight. I'll uh, second that. Okay, all in favor? Aye. Aye. No nays or abstentions. Okay. So. Terrific. Okay, motion to adjourn. I'll uh, second that. Okay. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Meeting adjourned. Meeting adjourned. <laughs>